So let's go to a problem that we just were talking about before we went on the air. So in Jefferson County and in Bullet now, when you sell a home, the seller is responsible for replacing the smoke detectors if you have an old-style 9-volt smoke detector with a 10-year non-removable lithium battery smoke detector. And you're supposed to purchase this, and correct me if I'm wrong here, Brad and Cora, you need to purchase it after you get a contract, but before closing, and you want to retain the receipts. Right. We're getting a thumbs up from Cora. Now, that's Jefferson and Bullet, but the word is, Cora, you're hearing statewide that this may go into effect for all counties. So all homeowners, be alert. This is going to happen. If you have a battery backup, like an alarm system, which has a smoke detector in it, you're going to be excused from this. But if you have the 9-volt or even a 10-year, you're going to need to replace them. Right so far. You are yeah. doing great, Bob. Oh, and good. hey, okay. happy Easter to all of our listeners. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. Um, so we, the problem is, Brad, you got a, a yeah. call that was very unusual. Agents and sellers listen carefully to what Brad heard or received as a call. Yeah, the call that came into me was from an agent who was attempting to do a closing. And there was a form that the closing attorney asked the agent to sign. The agent was not willing to sign said form. Um, the closing apparently broke down. Um, he called me kind of out of the blue just to ask the question about whether or not home team will go out and certify that the smoke detectors were replaced because he needed some sort of certification um, that they were replaced. I, this was the first that I've heard of this. Uh, as home inspectors, we really, for Jefferson County, I mean, it's you know, smoke detectors, we're just identifying whether or not they're there, but they're not tested because of this of this ordinance. So it was, I was out of my depth, out of my element. So we were just having the discussion about what are the requirements at the closing table uh, and how is the quote, quote unquote certification done that the uh, smoke detectors were replaced. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard of this before that, and the, the deal fell apart because the agent they did not sign it. They, yeah, they didn't, yeah. they didn't close that day. There was yeah. apparently a delay, but over a signature on a piece of paper. Corey, you haven't heard about this coming through from closing attorneys in your field, correct? That's correct. I'm, I'm not aware of an agent being asked to sign it. So essentially, the form that's in discussion here is simply an affidavit mm -hmm. that that homeowner is in compliance with that Jefferson County uh, code. And I don't have one in front of me, or I could certainly recite that. Maybe I can grab it at the break so that um, the folks that are listening can have that uh, at their fingertips if they want to do any further research on that requirement. But my um, take on this and my knowledge is that you cannot transfer that duty. So let me give you an example outside of, of the one that we're discussing. Um, we see a lot of people bring brand new smoke detectors in their Lowe's bags or Home Depot or whatever your preferred uh, company is at the mm -hmm. closing table mm -hmm. and kind of shoving those over. Or here, let me write you a check for $60. You go pick out your own smoke detectors. Well, technically, that's not in compliance with that Jefferson County ordinance. So when you're signing that affidavit, you're saying that it is and has already been done. You're not doing it at the table or transferring that duty to someone else. So the homeowner should be the one executing that. I certainly, um, we have not done that at my firm regarding asking the agents to sign. If I had to uh, speculate, I would suppose, I would hope that the reason why they asked is that the seller refused to sign it for some reason. Um, and so I'm not sure what the concern or hesitation was and also why it wasn't addressed earlier because it is included in the sales contract for mm -hmm. our local board within the greater Louisville uh, area. So hopefully that would have already been seen being a part of that contract and discussed uh, already. So I'm not sure how that breakdown created if it was, you know, simply a, um, a mismatch of personalities or or what but but that's generally yeah. how that affidavit works all right we'll keep an eye on this and we will follow up if we hear anything coming down the pipe but this is basically for anybody who's thinking of selling this here and also for all real estate agents in the louisville area